Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for June 2022. All right, darling? So if you enjoyed this tarot reading here today, Virgo, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. All right? Um, as well as be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Virgo. All right? To get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific here. But um, Virgo, let's just see what's going on in your life at this current point in time, darling. All right? Third and final card right now before I start running my mouth, honey is this emperor energy here so yeah the emperor energy the star the four of wands and then in the back of the deck you have the ten of wands coming in here all right virgo we're so we're starting out really strong for you darling all right can i have a focus darling thank you <laughs> we're starting out really strong for you here virgo I see with this Ten of Wands that y'all have been going through it. You have been, I get like this sense here, Virgo, for many of you guys, this sense of where you haven't, you feel like you haven't been in control of your own life, right? You feel as if you haven't been in control of your own life, that like anything that has happened to you is just like out of your control and, um it's this uh, it's i get this sense of really strong frustration here where it's like for some of you guys you've you've even thought about like checking yourself into like a mental like it's gonna be very specific but it's like you've thought about like checking yourself into like a mental mental institution um or like going out on a retreat or something some, like i get like the strong desire for you virgo of just disconnecting from your current reality all right can i say that just disconnecting from your current reality here because like you just cannot make sense of your current life situation right now now, right you have these hopes and the desires you just like for a lot of you guys you just want very basic things you know all of it for all of you it's going to be very different but it's just like you have very like you don't feel like you're asking for a lot right and it's just like every step of the way it's just extremely complicated for you all right and so what i want to be saying for you virgo is in the coming days for you guys all right your energy is in this general notion here right you are in the you are definitely in on the right path for you right now you're in the right direction with this four of wands energy all right you might be having some complications when it comes to your relationships or it's just like you're something that you have like a deep connection with maybe even like a job or something that's where some complications are and that's where you feel frustrated in and so i want to be just letting you know that things are going to be rectifying themselves pretty soon here for you virgo all right i mean you have the star card as well that's that aquarian energy and this emperor energy you're going to be having the opportunity to really step up to the plate and really be back into the driver's seat of your own oh yeah hello <laughs> of your own life again here virgo um i see for you guys especially you guys have been having a really hard time during this eclipse season right darling um so i mean what did i just say here virgo right we have the sun energy coming in here this is the best card in the tarot deck here and to have the sun card coming in right under the star energy darling absolutely fabulous here and so while i know at this current point in time here virgo i mean let's just be real like you're probably receiving this reading and you're just like okay they'll go like whatever um but for you guys like your energy like where you're where the energy is flowing for you guys right now, you are going to be having the opportunity to really, I mean, I see like a new job for some of you guys. I see this sense where you're going to finally start feeling noticed or appreciated by certain people in your life as well. It feels as if for many of you guys that you have been in this place of where you feel like you lost your spark and you feel like everyone around you has either noticed that you've lost your spark or just hasn't been noticing you. Uh, Virgo that's something I feel like as well it's just like you haven't been you feel like you've been forgotten in this whole world right you see your friends your family like everyone else in this world seems to be like at least having some type of momentum forward momentum going on in their life but for you you're just like well what about me right like what you, is, you just feel very powerless right because here's the thing you have the knight of wands here Virgo right the knight of wands that's the slowest moving knight out of all the knights but it does get to its destination here all right and so you guys right now virgo just need to remember where it is that you're trying to travel to all right as the knight of wands or the knight of i've been calling it the knight of wands the knight of pentacles darling <laughs> darling this this retrograde energy honey has been really taking a toll on me <laughs> um but for you guys, because this Knight of Pentacles is in the heart of y'all's energy, the Knight of Pentacles is y'all's story where it's just like sometimes you're going to be part of, part of your journey is going to be where you're going to be extremely uncomfortable, where you're going to have a long period of where things feel really hopeless for you, right? You have the king of swords as well coming in here feels as if for a lot of you guys, it's been like more so of a tax, like a mental tax for you guys, a mental challenge for you. All right. And so... 
what I want to be telling you here, Virgo, is that some of you guys need to be a little less afraid of having like drawing more attention. All right. Some of you guys have been not vocalizing things nearly as much. And I feel like until you start using your voice more. All right. Um, spirit's going to continuously push you more and more and more until you finally start speaking up. Um, very much so that throat chakra, even though I was clearly struggling speaking just beforehand. All right. I feel like this, that's really what it is, where it's just like no one listen virgo no one is better at really getting in tune with their throat chakra and getting uh awakening their throat chakra again until they have to tell somebody off right and that's what i feel like is going on for you guys right now where it's like you have good people around you right you like where your path is currently at while yes you do feel powerless where you're currently at is the place that you need to be currently. But the main problem is, is that the reason why you're dealing with these complications that you are at this current point in time, Virgo, is because you're not vocalizing more. Some of you guys need to speak your truth. I get this main sense of speaking your truth, having something be seen and having something be heard here. Maybe for some of you guys, Virgo, with this Nine of Wands energy, um, you feel like you would be too much of a burden. Like some of you guys are a little bit insecure about vocalizing what it is that, um, you want to say because you don't want to hurt feelings here all right um but you, this is quite literally the, the star energy the sun card as well as this nine of wands here this is the epitome of staying st standing strong in your conviction of what it is that you want you know whatever thoughts that you have going on right now virgo i don't know what it is i don't know if you're gaslighting yourself i don't know if it's just because of serious situations that you have i don't know if you're just dealing with your people pleasing problems here virgo but whatever is going on here, it's like you're getting so much reassurance from spirit about like affirmation for like what's going on intuitively for you. All right. And so you're getting so much affirmation here. But the main problem is, it's just like, again, like just this sense of where it's just like you need to use your voice, man. You need to use your voice. And that's how you speed up that Knight of Pentacles energy. All right. <laughs> I talk about the Knight of Pentacles energy speeding it up and the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving pentacle uh, knight. And then we just pulled the Knight of Swords for you, which is the fastest moving knight, which is also dealing with the Psyche here, uh, Virgo. So this is quite literally a confirmation where it's just like the moment you start using your voice, people start listening, Virgo. People start listening. I don't know if this is like a trauma response for you, Virgo, where you're afraid of vocalizing things. Or maybe you feel like you can't at this current point in time here. But it's like the more that you work on your throat chakra, and whether that's you telling people off, whether that's you going up to your boss and being like, hey, I need you to give me a raise or what have you. Like whatever the case is, like don't. Here's the thing, Virgo, people get trapped into this thinking of where it's just like, if things don't just happen to them for them in an easy way, then it's not meant for them. The reality is some people are so afraid of confrontation. I'm speaking to you right now, Virgo, it's like you, it feels like some of you are so afraid of confrontation that you'll do anything, you'll do anything at whatever cost to avoid that confrontation, to avoid speaking your truth in ways because you don't want to hurt feelings. You don't like whatever it is that you're afraid of the outcome with by you using your voice here. But that's quite literally the exact thing that you need to be doing. The reason why you're on this Knight of Pentacles journey right now we're that slow movement it's just like yes you're getting to your destination but the reason why it's so slow pace is because you're not having your truth be heard you know when you think about the emperor energy the emperor the emperor is the ruler honey the emperor doesn't care about what other people are thinking the emperor is going to say what what it is that needs to happen what it is that they're thinking and they know that everyone else is going to eventually follow one way or another even with the king of swords here right the king of swords is also an affirmation virgo of straight up just like having a really good head on your shoulders here all right um be yeah this is like a message of just like stepping up to the plate eight of pentacles energy here it's like the moment you ask for that raise virgo you get that raise all right the moment you ask for that raise the moment you like it's like the very much so the cliche of like closed mouths don't get fed virgo and the moment you start opening your mouth and ask start asking or telling people really 
that's when the abundance starts really coming in for you that's when things start being elevated for you here virgo if you're having a problem when it comes to some relationship that you care about deeply in your life here speak about it just be very blunt it feels like some of you virgos have been uh what is the word is like walking on eggshells or pussyfooting around what it is that you are feeling or wanting to have you know just feeling towards a certain type of person and maybe there's someone that's just like the way that they speak to you or just whatever it's like you want to say something to them but you haven't until this point and so then you just end up in this consistent spiral of where um just resentment and just what have you like i feel like you get so pleasantly surprised virgo by what you end up getting accomplished by what happens the moment you start using that voice but a lot of you guys you're just so afraid of using that voice because again that people pleasing aspect or what have you here virgo like i don't know what the t is here virgo but it's just like you just start using your voice you have the four of cups coming in here with the world energy and that's what it is that yeah that's literally what it is that y'all have been missing here virgo excuse me that's what it is that you've been missing like y'all have been avoiding so much of this confrontation of, of just like putting the end to the cycles by just using your voice that's literally just like the main message of this reading here virgo it's just like use your voice and then if you're wanting things to happen at a faster pace if you're wanting certain things to be happening use your voice start vocalizing it here virgo i don't know if it's just like the trauma response for some of you guys where you were punished when you were a kid when you spoke out or like whatever but y'all really need to start reflecting on why is it that you're not speaking your truth is in essence here virgo all right and so the more attention that you part like you are like i don't feel like you realize virgo like how much people respect your word people respect your your being but like you gotta allow it to be seen all right you know it's like i feel like i'm gonna close off this reading and just point out something in specific and i feel like it's just gonna be like a light bulb moment for somebody right you know we all have seen like those movies or shows or even in person when you go out clubbing or what have you of these people dancing and they may not be even technical very good dancers but the more like the what makes someone a good dancer other than like the technical aspect is someone that is just not like that has released all their inhibitions right and just uh, like they just dance to the beat they just dance in the way that they feel like dancing to and that's how people receive those like they see that person dancing and they applaud them they love the dance um because they just see someone being so carefree um and out of their head all right so that's really what i feel like y'all story is it's just like y'all need to not be afraid of just dancing because you're so in your head with that perfectionist mind that you have going on the moment you get out of your head and just start dancing you'll be surpri surprised by how many people are applauding you and will even ask for an encore so um yeah virgo that's the tarot reading that i have for you this week hopefully you found some cards that resonated with you all right if you want to book a private reading please virgo my website's linked down below i just opened up my live readings again um and yeah hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future virgo i love you so much darling bye